mukbang as in we are going to be talking about our five top things about going to the pop-up playlist live in new jersey in new jersey oh by the way hi i'm abby welcome I'm julia. to my channel hi, this abby. is my this is my friend julia <laughs> she's already starting we haven't eaten since like two yeah and it's like well. ten she might be starting a youtube channel subscribe to her if you want a whole detailed explanation of playlist live check out her video how things work and stuff posts, uh, look out for my video it might be linked down below when yeah. she posts i don't it, know when i'm gonna come to it when so. she posts it it'll be linked down below i don't know when that's gonna be so check that out so we are in New Jersey we're in the hotel room so pop-up playlist which is presented by five star the um, notebook brand I, don't know what that is. I literally didn't put that together you didn't until when now I was wondering why there are notebooks I literally have a notebook for school that's not brand I, think I do too Ooh. oh my pizza tastes terrible let me not eat it took a bite of it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is obviously the meetup. So I met Sam and Colby. If you can't tell, I'm rocking the Colby merch and I also have Colby merch underneath this. And then I met JC Page, I met Nike Angeles, Sarah Basca, and Griffin Arlund. Like overall, what we were saying about the meetup is like they're really, really chill and you can literally sit and talk to people for like a long time, which is very different as opposed to other events that we've been to where we've been very rushed through them. Yeah. So. It was just very nice for a change to be able to like rest yourself fully without being rushed or stressed yeah. out. Yeah. The whole theme of playlist was was strength, not stress. And I feel like they definitely like hit that like I don't know what the phrase. They, they got it. They <laughs> knocked that hashtag out of the park. Like it's like, gone. Like, like with as like a theme throughout the whole event. So the meetups are like really, really chill. Like I didn't know Sarah or Griffin like before the meetup and like I looked at their channels to see like, what they did but like I didn't watch any of their videos because they didn't have time. And every single person I talked to like including them it was literally like I was just like making a new friend and like talking to them and learning about them and like it was just so genuine and nice. It was just like a different meet and greet experience than like I've ever experienced before yeah. with like other meet and greets I've done. That's how I felt about the Sam and Colby one because like it was like different like it wasn't like I'm meeting a friend because like they like have changed my life and have impacted me so much and I look up to them as role models. Not that your role model can't be your friend but it's just like was like different but they were just like so nice so friendly they're so like accommodating with like pictures like they're willing to do like pretty much anything for a picture which is great not like scandal but like I asked them like oh can I like do the picture where like you kiss both my cheeks and they like did it they also signed my shirt my white take chances shirt which I'm wearing underneath that Colby signed here and Sam signed here they give good hugs I felt like I was able to like tell them what I wanted to say like I wanted to tell them how much they mean to me how much they've impacted like my life and have impacted like how I like view the world honestly before getting into them I have always wanted to live my life to the fullest but I never just did and they just inspired me just to like go for things and just take chances and live beyond the norm <laughs> that was also the same today we kept saying things take chances and then just like live life to the fullest and just don't say maybe on things just say yes and go for it so yeah i feel like the whole meetup experience was just really really positive and, and like i would honestly go to playlists just for the meetups if you love a creator <laughs> and you like are very passionate or have been a fan for years like don't wait for them to go on tour or do anything like that go well, to I mean, go to the tour but i mean go anyway but like if you have the opportunity and like the financial means to like go to playlists like or VidCon, like whatever. I mean Grace, I don't know how VidCon how VidCon's different. But like go. Take, Take chances. chances. <laughs> so that was really great. Mm -hmm. So the second thing we liked about playlists was I mean I sat through like all the panels pretty much. Cause my meet and greet took a long time. Yeah. And like she sat there. Her meet and greet was before my meet and greet, so I just kind of like sat and like I was like saving our seats because I didn't know if we like wanted them or what was happening because we like just got there when Julia's meet and greet was a thing. So I sat through like five panels and like I didn't know a lot of the creators at this event. Like I knew Sam and Colby, I knew Jesse Page, and then like I knew Griffin kind of like I watched like two of her videos and I knew Meg. Meg. 
Meg I Angels, don't know yeah. Her name. But I didn't know like a lot of the creators in the panels. So like the first like four panels I sat through, I, mean, I didn't know anyone. Hour. But I felt like as a new creator, I like really appreciated the advice they had to give about like confidence. And they talked about like their favorite videos, like their old videos, like how they grew as people, like and everything. I felt like I really like learned a lot from all the panels and like they're very informative and just fun and interesting and like the people were interesting even though I had no idea who majority of them were. I still felt like I learned a lot and it just really like helps me and motivates me and I found it like very motivating to like it makes me just want to create content like it really inspired me. So I thought the panels were awesome. I don't know what you thought. I know I agree as well like ditto to most of that and then like I also just like I liked learning more about like the creators that were on the panels too especially like people I didn't know as much like and like mm -hmm. things that like I wouldn't have known otherwise so that was also yeah. really interesting and the host guy was like really good like it just like Sean I liked him he yeah was cool it was just very like kept people engaged and kept being like excited and it was just very much like a pump it up like mm -hmm. situation so I thought the panels were really great so the third thing that was great about playlist live was Tana because she's okay. just Tana I'm a hipster Tana fan where I watched her like before she was like really really big and then like once she got really really big I kind of just like lost interest in a way so I never really knew how I felt about her I wasn't sure if she was just like really really fake like mm -hmm. she's like one of those people that could be like really fake even though she seems like so real but like honestly after seeing her at this convention she is like so real she's so and real. she cares what like touched me is she cares so much about her fans it, it was like so sweet she like, was just so genuine and sweet to everybody. She was she so genuine. We didn't meet her, but like we watched her meet and greet for a little bit and we like saw her like on stage for like her Q&A and she did another thing. And she was just so genuine and so just caring about her fans. Like she, she brought a girl that wasn't in the meet and greet line like in the thing and like security mm -hmm. was like no and she was like yeah. yeah. <laughs> and she like makes sure <laughs> like, yes. like she tries to meet as many people as possible and I just thought that was just like originally great. she was gonna come we were waiting on the side of her meet and greet and she was gonna come and like meet everyone she's like I'm gonna come say hi like I didn't think she was gonna take pictures everyone but like be like hey 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 yeah and just like walk down um but then she was like oh no I actually want to be on the main stage in like five minutes so like yeah. go over there like, I'm gonna miss my flight literally that can't happen she was so going, I don't know if she actually missed her flight but she was like it's fine if I miss my flight just to like stay here and interact with the fans which I thought was like so great I definitely have like not that I ever had I just didn't know I was like wow she's really great and then I'm kind of like oh wait maybe she's not but now I'm like Mm -hmm. she's genuine she's great like good for her the third thing so they didn't have a lot to do there there weren't like booths or anything there were two things there were two things so there's this thing I don't know what it's called how it works there were six like little panels in like a circle and you took like they took a four second video of each like panel and I thought it was really cool and really just fun and different yeah and cute so like we did that I'll insert it now <laughs> really interesting yeah it was fun and it, just, it like, came out really cute too yeah like, it was just coolly edited so yeah so i really enjoyed that part so then the last thing that i really liked about playlists was just like the atmosphere of it like we said before like the whole theme of it was hashtag strength not stress and i feel like they really like took that into account like nothing there was like stressful like it was like, all very chill you're meet up so you don't have to go and like wait in line line up early like you signed up you're there you have like a meetup block so it's like from like mine was a thing from 1 to like 2 30 or something and if you you could show up at like 2 20 and they'd like let you go to the back of the line like it was just like there weren't like really any lines for anything besides like the meetups but like even still like it was like there are chairs you could sit in the back it was just like very it was chill. Just, yeah, it was just chill. Like we mentioned in the meet and greet video, like it was just the whole atmosphere was just so laid back, which like I think for an event like that big, like it like and I feel like I don't again, we haven't been to Orlando or DC or anything like that, so like I don't know no. like how that is, but like because it was pop up and it was all in like one room, like it was just really, really relaxing. And I feel like, like the people like in like these conventions atmospheres, like people are just like so excited to see these people that they like look up to. Mm -hmm. That is just like everyone's so happy, everyone's so friendly. Yeah, sometimes people get like a little rowdy a bit, and then like, like when we were like up at the front of the stage, like sometimes people like they weren't like pushing. I guess there was a fight. 
Yeah, last they night. had. Yeah, we didn't go to the. There was a show last night. We didn't go to that. We just went to the convention today. I guess there was a fight last night, but like we didn't experience anything like that. No, we at didn't. All. So, <laughs> so I don't know what the tea is with that. But yeah. as far as what we did, I didn't see anyone really pushing or shoving or anything. I had me and the girls that I was in my meet and greet with. We all took each other's pictures, which was like really nice. And I like to talk to them in front line, so I, like made friends in line. And then like we interacted with a couple people like during the panels today. People are great. People are great. <laughs> this pizza is very cold and sad. <laughs> this is a terrible mukbang. My pizza was fine. I just didn't feel like heating it up. So, <laughs> what we would like to say is if you have the opportunity to go to Playlist Live or pop up Playlist Live, do it. Mm -hmm. Like, we, I definitely would recommend doing it. We definitely want to go again. And it was great. And I think everyone should go. Yes, and like if you like a creator and you want to meet them, I, I feel like I already said this in the angry part, I don't know if I did, but like this is like I think the best place to meet them, it's like yeah. if you have the opportunity to, because it's very chill. That is it for this <laughs> video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to Julia once she makes her channel and everything. Yeah. I will link it down below when it's a thing, so mm -hmm. go do that. Also subscribe to me since you're here. I post videos every Friday. Also check out my blog posts. I post those every Friday too. Like this video, comment down below what your favorite part was. Or if you've been to playlists, like who have you yes. met at playlists? If you're going Let to a play if you went this weekend, that'd be really cool. Yeah. Hey, we were in the same place together. What up? Like so. Comment down below your favorite part. Comment down below if you were at this playlist or any positive experiences about playlists. And that is it. I will see you next Friday. Bye guys.